and type in a rock gravel path and I can click on generate. Now this was the path that it generated. I have option one here, option two and option three. Now everyone what's up? So I just wanted to make a quick video on this new feature that just came out with Photoshop and with AI. It's called the generative fill tool and it's already in beta, but you can start using it uh, right now. If you go to your Creative Cloud app, and here you will go to your applications and you go to applications in, in beta version, you'll have the option to install it and to open it. So as soon as you guys have it opened, I'm gonna open Photoshop and I'm gonna open different kinds of images that I think you guys will be amazed in how cool uh, you know, all of the functions are. The first thing that I'm impressed with is the extension tools. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on C for Canva and I'm gonna extend this downwards just a little bit, right? Now with the marquee tool, I'm going to select this bottom version, the version that I just extended. I'm gonna click on generate or fill and I'm just gonna click on generate. That's basically it. And this is the result, I mean, come on, it, it extended the part that I don't have and it gives me different variations. So this is the first one and I can jump in between, you know, the different variations that I want. And if I wanted to, I could, you know, regenerate much more of these variations or just have the ones that, I, that I'm happy with. You're gonna see that these variations are generated on a new mask, on a new layer with a new mask and everything. So it doesn't have any destructive workflow, which means that you can go back to any of these images. And if you go back to, for example, this specific prompt, you can vary the prompt right here and type in anything that you want. So this is the first thing that we're seeing and this is absolutely crazy. Now, the second thing that I think is super interesting is I can place any person, any object I want. So for example, I'm going to go back to my layer zero and I'm going to select maybe a, an area right here and where it says generator fill, I'm gonna click on top of it and I'm gonna type in uh, a couple in a picnic and I'm going to click on generate. So these are the variations that Photoshop gave me. So this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. I mean, come on, if you if we zoom in, obviously you can see some mistakes. This is not a perfect tool just yet, but it does generate images that are proportional to scale and that are correct within the lighting of the image. So I'm gonna erase this for now, and I'm gonna select all of the grass that I have here in my foreground, and I'm, I'm gonna click on generative fill and click on a, okay, a field of tall, grass and I'm gonna click on generate and let's see what the what it comes up with so these are the results that it came up with this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one you know although they don't look as well as I would want it to I could click on generate one more time but it's still it's, it's amazing how in less than maybe a minute all of these images are being generated also one other thing that I wanted to show you is if I click on canvas right here and just extend this image just a little bit, click on M for marquee tool and then click on generator fill and click on generate. So here it gives me, you know, three different options. You know, they're not perfect options, of course, but if we zoom in, we can see that it does have something to do with the previous building. Like for example, this would be something that that building would have, right? So this, is, this is just interesting. This is just crazy to, to imagine. Now let's go on over to this image and I'm going to go on to this path right here and I'm gonna maybe create a rectangle just like this and I'm gonna click on, and I'm gonna type a person walking with a little kid. And I'm gonna click on generate. So this is our first option and as you can see, uh, Photoshop recognizes the direction of the sun, the scale that the person has to be in, like this is the correct scale. And here it gives me, you know, three different, more, three more different options. I think this one looks super interesting. Now I can also go over here, maybe select this area of the sky and type in a small flock of birds. Now these are things that would normally take us, take us five to 10 minutes. And right here, it's just taking us seconds. Here, you can see 
the flock of bird that I generated. Let's say I like this one a lot. And I'm going to maybe make this flock of birds smaller, something like this. And as you guys can see, the, the, the change is amazing. I'm going to select, for example, the roof of this building. And as, I, and as soon as I have the roof selected, I'm going to type, I'm going to click on generated fill and I'm going to type in a red shingle roof. And I'm going to click on generate. So these are the first three options that are generated. And as you can see, they're pretty crazy, not very exact, not very precise, but they are very creative. Now, if you don't like any of these three options, you, you can always go back and generate different types of options. And you can also modify the parameters as well. So I'm going to click on generate once more and it gave me these three different options, which, you know, if we take a look at this one right here, this one actually does not look pretty bad. It looks pretty decent. We can even have, we even have one of the shadows that we have here from the tree. What I can also do is I'm, I can select, select here the grass in the foreground, go back to my base layer and type in a rock gravel path and I can click on generate. Now this was the path that it generated. I have option one here, option two, and option three. Now, now this first option does not look bad at all. I mean, in just a few seconds, I have a different kind of roof, and I also have a normal path right here. Now, if you ask me, this is pretty amazing. This is pretty crazy. One last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select this person right here, click on generator fill and just leave it blank and just click on generate and that is basically it now after a few seconds this is our final result and i mean come on you can not even notice that a person was there and the results are pretty amazing the results are pretty pretty cool now i don't know about you but all of these features are just amazing they're incredible and we've yet to see what other results we can produce with this with our architecture renders, with our architecture images. So if you guys have any ideas, if you've used this for any specific tools, type them in the comments. I'm really interested to see how you would want to use this tool inside of Photoshop. Now this just goes to show that AI is not going anywhere and it's just being implemented into each of our everyday tools from Revit to Gmail to now Photoshop. So you can imagine that in the future, uh, in all of the tools that we use in our day-to-day, -day, AI will be there as well. So as you can see, we can extend images, we can erase people, we can erase uh, different kinds of objects, we can change the materials of buildings, we can change the sky, we can change the settings, we can do a ton of stuff just in a matter of a few seconds right here inside of Photoshop. Now, I imagine that all of these tools are going to be implemented in different Adobe tools in the future, like Illustrator, like InDesign, like many, many more. So the future is just gonna be so much more exciting. And I want you guys to be excited as well. I want you to be excited about this because it's going to be a really um, handy feature. It's going to be really helpful and practical to all of us that use Photoshop and Adobe tools in our day to day. So are you guys excited? Are you guys scared? Let me know in the comments because, because there have been so many things happening lately that it's just a lot to take in. If you want to see more AI videos, you can click on this playlist right here and let me know what other things you would like to see with this tool of Photoshop inside of AI. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.